Hey everyone, today I'm going to do a sort of um, spring tutorial because even though it's not spring here, it's spring in the States in the Northern Hemisphere. So, <coughs> <coughs> and I'm feeling really sick and today is nice and warm outside and I don't, I don't want autumn to happen because after autumn is winter, of course. Um, but whatever, I'm just going to do a springy look with the new products that I have bought recently. Um, so it's kind of a first impressions with some some products, not all of them. Um, and um, maybe later I'll do a kind of like a more vampire look. Um, but let's get started because I don't want to ramble too much. I'm going to start off with the Kors Lip Butter in Pomegranate. Um, I bought this the other, day, the other day actually, yeah. And just moisturizing my lips and I love the color it gives me. Just looking at the viewfinder because there's no other mirror right now. I haven't moisturized my face yet so I'm just using the simple... Kind of skin hydrating light moisturizer. I've let the moisturizer settle in a bit. This is the Base Magique by L'Oreal. I'm just going to use it on this um, little foundation brush. The only problem with this stuff is that you can't really tell how much you're putting on because your skin, your either your hands feel smooth or your skin feels smooth, and you don't know whether it's your hands or your skin, or so your face, not your skin, because Skin's everywhere, but um. So I'd like to use a, I'd like to use a um brush when applying it. I'm gonna put my hair back. For foundation, I'm gonna use one that I haven't used in a while. My Bourjois Healthy Mix. <laughs> um, I really love this foundation, and I'm gonna use it on my Real Techniques. Um. X, no, buffing brush. Um, after this video, I'm going to clean all my brushes because they're looking really rank. I'm just going to put it onto the brush. I don't really care. And then apply it. I'm going to spread out the coverage. I'm not going to use some sort of heavy duty concealer, but I will use a brightener. This is the YSL Touche Clat in number two. I really like this one because it does brighten. I haven't used it in a while, so here it goes. <laughs> I'm just going to buff it in using the same brush that I used for foundation. Ooh, I really like this glow. Oh my god, sorry guys to just to, to sidetrack from this, but my sister just showed me this Instagram photo that my cousin posted of Fun for Louie. And he's in Mum he's in Melbourne right now at Moomba and I'm not there. Okay, so <clears throat> just need to breathe a bit. <coughs> oh, oh I hate being sick. Okay, next I'm gonna use my Chanel bronzer. Haven't used it in a while, so I'm gonna use that. I'm used to using stuff that I haven't used in a while, so I'm gonna use it on an expert face brush because I'm not in the The light's really strong, isn't it? I think it makes my um my under eye concealer look a bit odd. That's alright. Okay, I'm gonna let the foundation settle because it's a bit sticky and I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna start off with brows. This is really hard to open. <laughs> just saying, um, I'm just doing this tutorial before my eyebrows start growing out again because I got them done yesterday. Um, nice and neatly threaded. I'm using this Nude by Nature eyeshadow trio. I'm using this dark brown. Okay, I spent way too much time on these abominations. They don't even look that good, but I tried. I'm gonna use my Paintly Paint Pot as my eye primer. I'm going to use this coral um, eyeshadow from L'Oreal in Magnetic Coral and I'm going to use that on my crease. It's like a loosely pressed pigment. Focus on the outer corner and then lightly bring it in. Yeah. I'm going to blend that in with this mid-tone brown and this highlighty white colour, beige colour. These are all mattes by the way. I'm going to blend that out like that and more into the crease. And then just get the highlighted colour 
and bring that, bring that into the brow bone just to make it look nice and diffused and blended in. On my eyelid I'm going to use this Tribal Summer collection by Essence and this pigment in Inti Inca. Inti Inca. The reason I bought it was because it reminds me of Naked by MAC. I like the pigment Naked. So I would use it wet but I'm just trying it out for now. So I'm just going to pop that on the lid, press it on the lid. I don't feel like it has that same kind of shimmering effect that Naked has. I'm just going to use a shimmery colour over the top of it. I'm using this one from this Astralis palette. Just use any light champagne shimmery colour right there. I'm going to use it on my finger just to poke it on. I'm going to apply mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic. Just the regular one. Well, I've grown to love this mascara. It really lengthens and when it sets, it sets like, like you can't really layer any mascara over it because it just clumps up but using it on its own, it sets and it doesn't move. I apologize if you don't like this look of mascara but I like it. Okay, eyes are done. Now time for face. Um, I'm going to set my concealer with my new e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. I just got it yesterday. I haven't used it. Sorry, I got it the other day. But I still haven't used it. So, here I go. I'm going to put some into the lid. And even though I haven't used concealer, I still used a product under my eyes. This has fine bits of glitter, but I think they're very noticeable. Hopefully it's good at reflecting the light. And then just for powder, I think I'm going to use some, some Stay Matte. Stay Matte by Rimmel. Because it does actually um, show through in the spring or in the summer. Because your face gets oily and it just shows like through in a dewy way. So it's not always that matte. I'm just going to use um, a little bit of bronzer. Just the Rimmel um, Natural Bronzer. Um, just to warm up my face a bit, I'm going to use it on this angled brush here. Just a and I've been looking forward to, be, to using this. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. And I love it because it looks, it's like a coral colour. You can see that. And I think I'm just going to add a bit more of a highlight. This is the Justin Bieber collection from Essence, um, the shimmer powder in, sw in swag. That's the reason I got it, because it says swag like that. And it's kind of an inside joke between me and everyone that knows me. So I like to use the word swag as a joke, like ironically. It's kind of sad, but I don't care. And this is going to give me the highlight that maybe the stay matte wouldn't. For my lips, I'm going to use Babette by Lime Crime. I used it really lightly so it does not it's not as opaque as it actually is. And I'm going to use a gloss over top and this is Maybelline's lip gloss in One Shine Day. And there you go. It's a nice spring makeup tutorial. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. Thank you for watching. Um, hopefully you like this. Maybe I'll do an autumn version and we'll see. So, um, bye guys.